Howdy. I assume I'm all right to park right here. Yeah. Yes, sir. I uh, was the guy that was talking about the jade yesterday oh, okay. on Facebook. So I have a YouTube channel. Okay. Can I film? Sure. Cool. My name's Mark Robert. I've uh, been here a few times and I've met Ty a okay. few times. Um, not exactly friends, but no. face Facebook yeah. friends, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, excellent. All right, we are down in, uh, I guess, Lehigh, American Fork, Utah. I don't know. This is uh, Tyree Lamp's house, uh, business of Utah Dump Digger. And Ty's a big dinosaur guy. He has a, a dinosaur quarry that he uh, digs bones on and he preps bones and does bones and sells bones and uh, even has people come out and uh, like camp and dig with him. So I came down here to do some uh, looking for rocks, uh, specifically some jade that I seen advertised. And this is Robert, who I just met. Say hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. And Ty's got a lot of gear, equipment that he sells, collects and sells. And uh, so if you need any lapidary gear, I recommend this place. Now, Robert, are you uh, the shop help yeah. in some way? Yeah. I hold down the fort while he's off looking for dinosaurs. He's always off yeah, yeah. rambunctioning around and doing stuff in different states. But he's got a ton of rock. He's always getting new rock. And, uh, wow, look at all this. Should have brought the drone. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of shopping and, and I'll get back with you guys in a minute. Fancy Dino Bone. This pieces are very, very expensive. But then he has, uh, you know, uh, $10 a pound Dino Bone. And he has a lot of it. Just tons of, uh, of dinosaur bone. Now I had a water bottle. This might be it. Oh, this is not it. He's trying to steal his water bottle. That looks like poppy jasper or something, but maybe it's bone. Is that, is that a jasper or a bone? That's a, looks like, looks like a cycad. Wood. Fossil wood, huh? Yeah. Very interesting. Almost looks like a Morgan Hill or something with that, or, or even a, um, what do they call it? Mary Ellen. Yeah. Stromatolite. Beautiful. All right. Let's wander around. All this gear, all these motors. I've spent a couple of days cleaning up the motors on my machines. They just seem to be grease magnets. I don't know why. Dust. What's Fine. this pile? Those are dino bone. Dino bone slabs. Got 
Yeah, I have a hard time selling dinosaur bone. I mean, if it's really, really, really premium, it'll sell, but I can't afford $100 a pound dino bone. That's a tough one. I like the chunks just as much as we need to follow the store. Yeah. Here now, you've got a 200 all the way down to $5 a pound. Oh, you have, you have $5 a pound. 100, 80, 60, 40, 5, 10, 20. All right. Well, here, let's go to the high end and see what it looks like. $200 a pound. You know, that is gorgeous. That uh, that orange in there with a the little bit of, bit of yellow. Yeah. So I guess the yellow is rare, yeah. right? Yellow I mean, that's bright yellows and reds. Yeah. I've 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 heard the canary is like yeah, they call it Disney colors sometimes. Disney colors, huh? Red, red, bright yellow. Not easy to do things one-handed. Well, so at uh, two pounds, pound and a half, this is three hundred dollars to four hundred dollars, maybe three hundred pound and a half. One pound might only be one pound. Expensive. Dino bone, one hundred a pound. Yeah, I've only been able to afford ten dollar a pound material from from Thai. Right, yeah. I'll just buy little cabs, little not cabs, little slabs. Just ones just that are one cab. <laughs> like like there's no waste. Yep, there's really pretty colors. So this one right here, this pale with yellow, is pre marked four hundred and fifty dollars, and if you viewers at home. Just look up uh, Utah Dump Digger, and he'll get you this piece. I mean, he'll mail it right to your door. And that is amazing. First come. Pale yellow. Yeah, there's only one, folks. <laughs> there's only one. Only one like that. 80 a pound. Ooh, I like this one. I'm afraid at its final cost, but uh, at 80 a pound, I'm going to say that's eight pounds. So at 100 a pound, it would be $800 minus 100 or something. $700, $600. Beautiful though. Beautiful. $60 a pound. That's uh, probably a $30 piece. You know, that's a that's a beautiful cab that easily sell for $30. And uh, just one cab. That's just one slice of this. Um, so, you know, there's money to be made if you're if you're looking for small materials to cut up to cab or just face polish or something like that. White. Kind of 
Kind of green color. Here's $40 a pound pile. Very nice material. All right, moving down the road. Dinosaur bone, $5 a pound. Now this, this is where I'm at, generally. Hard to make a mistake when you're getting it for $5 a pound. And uh, if anybody's watching this and you want you know, some tumblers or something like that. You can you can get with Ty. You can even ask me. I'd come back and buy you some rock. You know, might be a little surcharge on top of it. Maybe a rock for myself for my uh, troubles. But we could do something like that. All right, ten dollars a pound. It's got to be twice as good as the five dollars a pound. That one looks purple. Twenty dollar a pound dino bone. So, as you can see, this is the place to find your Dynabone. You want Moki Marbles? He's got them right here. How much are Moki Marbles, Robert? 40 a pound. 40 a pound. These are kind of light, so you could get quite a few in a pound, I think. I thought they'd be heavy. Yeah, I always thought they were really heavy. Yeah, I guess I've never really seen one. Never went looking for them in the wild. Are they? Well, they they feel like they would be hollow, but I don't know. I don't think people really cut them open on purpose. Yeah. And the sandstone before they pop out. The little ones, same price. Yep. All right, Moki marbles. These are all uh, Utah materials, if I'm correct. I, I'm not yeah. positive. Got Chalcedony clusters here. Roses. Amolite. Is that what they call that? Uh, well, ammonite, it's ammonite it's not amolite. Amolite will have more of the rainbow, kind of. That's, that's the original shell. Some of that looks like jade. These uh, oyster shells, I guess. Lots of petrified wood around. We got amethyst crystals. Yeah. That's mostly from Canada, right? Uh, they actually get some of it in Utah. Really? Down by Clawson. Huh. I didn't know that. Ooh, look at this Chris Cola. That's beautiful. Well, he's calling it Jim Silica. Jim Silica, one dollar a gram. You know that's not bad, really. Yeah. Well, I, I like, I really like this. I think that's nice. sexy. Like a super sphere. Right? 
you know, I, I've been quoted $6 a gram for Jim Silica. So $1 a gram, that's a bargain. Holly Blue, $1 a gram. I've never cut any Holly Blue. It's fairly rare stuff. No, it's hard to get. What does this piece weigh? That's probably, probably 100 and a half. 150 bucks. 150 grams? People's hand gram weight doesn't work as well as their pound one. Yeah, I imagine. I know I know Holly's expensive. I disappoint people all the time because they'll hold up a piece. What's this? 20? Yeah, sometimes. sometimes <laughs> if you get a really good deal. No, quality materials is not cheap. Some uh, loosened varicite. Actually, that's Australian. Oh, is this Australian varicite? Australian. Now, when I get it from like Glen, I think it's loosens right there. Loosens. I've got a big pile of loosen. It looks like it does look the same a little bit. The, the tones are pretty close. This is more of a seam uh -huh. that, that comes in. This is the nodules. Um. So when I get it from Glenn of uh, the Australian Outback or whatever he is, it's $100 a pound. So what are you guys charging? Uh, it's probably pretty close to that. Pretty close. We had prices on them. They came off. Well, it, it's not a big <laughs> it's deal. Not I'm just curious. Um, it's probably fairly close to that. I want to say 80 or so. It's, it's yeah. Australian Verisite's not cheap. I, I gladly paid it. When I was buying it, when Glenn, the last time Glenn was in town, I, I, I didn't make it to Quartzsite long, this year. That's a long trip, too, to ship it. Yeah. Moroccan, I assume. Some beautiful stuff. Yeah, I love, I love Moroccan. Beautiful. That almost looks like a little piece of condor snuck in there. Almost. Possibly, huh? That looks more condo than it does. I mean, that's it didn't. Fine. No, that's fine. That's just kind of fell out. We got some African blue lace. Some nice, nice blue lace. We got Australian tiger iron here. Very nice material. Another one that has eluded me. I'm kind of a collector of rock. Yeah. Just I just ones. don't have Australian tiger iron yet. So someday. I got one a little back from him. Same reason. So these ones, these, these little oblong, kind of like bird's eye marble, they'll, they'll have that in them. See the Tortella show? Oh. Oh, it is. Really? Wow. So they're uh, concretions of some they're sort. Concretions around the shells. Occasionally I've heard there can be crocodile tooth. I have not seen one, but. No, that's I, I that's crazy. That. Uh, Texas Springs or Texas some of Springs, yep. you know. I went out there one time, didn't spend a lot of time, but I wish I, I'd like to go back. I'd like to go back and spend uh, a couple days. I want to get the snail. I want a pink snail. Um, I love to go to Hubbard Basin which is a little bit farther than Texas Springs. I always refer to it as being across the street. Technically it is. Yeah. Uh, and across a couple fields. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hubbard Basin, what a great place. I find yeah, the uh, most blues. awesome limb casts there. I bet this piece. Is Does that not look like that's from there? It could be. Blues over here. It could be. I'm so not an just, expert. I was just thinking that when I was looking at this piece. Is that, that looks like it's hover base. Could be. Because usually you don't get slabs of some of that. You'll get rounds, you know, or people polished whole bits. In Brazilian? All kinds of slabs. Wow. Tons of slabs. We got some bird's eye rhyolite. Might be Utah material. Oh, no, that's a, that's Could be Mexican else. or something. It's almost like it's an ugly California pocket. It's a little tighter than a bird's eye. Mm. I have some very similar. Just more slabs and you can shake a stick at. What are you guys charging for uh, 
small most slabs. Of, most of these are a buck or so. There's, depends on the material. Some of it's a little better, some of it migrates. If somebody some just better table, wants so. a medium flat rate box, um, what, what would you uh, say to that? You don't do that? Really to figure something out. Because a lot of people are just like, I want a mass quantity of slabs. Something on that idea. We started doing these, uh, these buckets of Fluorite. tumbler material. That, yeah, that's the good idea, isn't it? So these are all these buckets along here are tumble material. And we were talking about throwing them a medium flat rate box for like 50 bucks. Yeah. Filling one of those up 15 for shipping, 35 well, the, for the material. Just included in there. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, this is what this is what people want. I everybody's tumbling. Yeah. I mean, if some people are cabin, but a lot of people are tum yeah. uh, tumbling. Yeah, it teaches you patience. It does. It takes a month <laughs> to get a good good tumble. At least for I me. Some really good material in here. It's a lot of Henry Mountains wood. Some, uh, some uh, tumble to somebody, Sidney. Somebody didn't finish tumbling. <laughs> some botryoidal chalcedonies and stuff. Quartz crystals. Ooh, big quartz crystals. Never been much of a crystal guy, but I know people like them. I still appreciate a pretty one. Go away, fly. Ooh, look at this pyrites. Very nice. 50, 100. Gives you an idea what he's charging for pyrites. Okay, so some angel wing type agate or something. Probably graveyard point or something? Like it does look like graveyard point. Just a really nice piece. Yeah, I'd say it's graveyard point. Now he got a load of graveyard in about a year ago and that brought me down and I picked up $80 of graveyard. Oh, then you'll be disappointed to learn that we picked up more graveyard. I've well, still got some, still got quite a bit of oh, that other stuff. We probably picked up several. Times. Ooh, garnets, big old garnets, big old giant garnets. <laughs> That's big enough to make a spear. All right. Now, I specifically came here for this nephrite jade, and I've selected uh, 10 pounds, and I've got it stashed over there. But I looked through quite a bit of this materials, and uh, I think I got some good stuff. And he's charging 10 a pound for the, for, this is supposedly, he believes, to be Wyoming jade. Our best guess is it's out of Wyoming. Wyoming nephrite jade. Since we buy a state, they're not always marked. No, no, they're not. And that's why uh, the knowledge of, of people with experience is so important. Oh, here's what I really wanted to show you guys. Now, have you ever seen a bucket of red horn coral? $80 a pound. 200 a pound of the Tucson shore last year. Just wanted to set it down over, over here, it'd be fine. So, when I, uh, when I show you the pieces that I get when I went out camping and digging for this material, it's not, a, it's not cheap material. They charge quite a bit of money for it. Only in one spot. Yeah, and it's world class. I mean, literally world class material. I've never seen horn coral that's better than Riley Canyon red horn coral. 60, 60 miles from here. What a great place. Love that place. What else do we got? Chris Cola, we got set. That's Spencer? Spencer Opal. That's the matrix that it's in. I don't know much about Spencer Opal. Uh, it's but really I can pretty. see the flash. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's, it's a skill to work it. <laughs> now, Spencer Opal is from Idaho, which is our uh, neighboring state to the north. And uh, look at that. It's, it's got flash in it. So, uh, Spen ask... 
for price. I imagine they're charging by the rock. It, it, Every rock is going to be evaluated. Yeah, we don't want to charge it by the pound for five pounds of matrix. Those are uh, some Botswanas. Mixed agates, maybe? That's mostly Botswana. Should be, should be Botswanas. There might be some snuck in there. Yeah, love Botswana. Botswana agate, I sell almost every single piece that I cab. It's pretty cool. I mean, people just like, oh, I like that. It's fine, fine lines. There's a little bit of crazy lace with that. Is this uh, Mexican? Yep. Some botrioidals right there. Most of this was put away in the late 70s. So, the old stock. It is old stock, for sure. Right. Anything near it that was wrapped in newspapers has a date of 77, 78, so. Yeah, I, I love Crazy Lace, but I don't cut it too much because of the things that we talked about earlier. How it could peel. Uh, it's, it's not a guarantee. I like to cut materials that is at least that I know that I'm going to succeed and that I have a chance of earning a dollar. Yeah, no, it can be. So I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll buy slabs of it because they're already done. I can give them good flex. Yeah. Oh, I do that too. And I feel bad when I start breaking people's slabs because <laughs> I want to tr test them out. I do it for people. <laughs> okay, Dugway Geodes. Nice collection. We've also been to the Dugway Geode Beds, and uh, that's a great place. I love going out there. I wish it was a little closer. Yeah, it can be a drive. Hmm, Tiffany Stone, Utah material. Can be very expensive. $40 a pound. $40, pound, but it's not bad, right? There's $100 a pound yeah. Tiffany Stone. It, it exists. Yeah, this is just a more bulk. There's some really nice pieces in there. That's more floor spar than it is. Yeah. There's a bucket of floor spars in there. Yeah. No, I, I, I just like the purple. Yep. So, you know, I, I make and sell cabs, and I sell eight out of ten cabs to women. And women love purple. It's that simple. Yep. Purple is, uh, it's the color to, to create from. It is possible. It's a royal color. Exactly. So these look like maybe like Mexican geodes? Moroccan. Moroccan geodes. Okay. Graveyard point. Graveyard. Yeah. Love the graveyard point. Alabaster. Yeah, these are mostly plugs. That looks like a piece of alabaster for sure. They're uh, cores. Various cores. Honeycomb calcite. Okay. Oh, I, I, he never had these labels before. Oh, I did those. Good. Excellent, try, sir. Try and make it easier. Excellent, sir. And uh, little palm stones, little tumbles and stuff. Montana agate. $2 a pound. Cut. $5 a pound. I paid $10 a pound for a chunk of Montana agate. I should have come here. Could go up at any time. I've been meaning to get up north and, and do some some hounding on the uh well, yellowstone really well get it now folks don't delay agatized coral is this uh florida material but, you know i'm not positive where it's out of it doesn't wow look at that it's really pretty on the outside it doesn't have a lot of structure inside sometimes sometimes it does it's a hit and miss well, I have I a piece that looks vaguely similar to that, and it well, feels like that, it's hollow. Okay, so a lot of them, that's what you're after is the hollow, so you can cut into it and get and that. expose all those bots. And so the, the lighter ones is what people were after. Cause there's yeah, one. there it is. That's what <laughs> that's I'm what I've after. never. I haven't cut it yet. I've, I've thought about it, but I just have never done it. Yeah, and there's not much tell. There's little somebody, there. Somebody just included a piece of that in a, uh, in a rock shipment. That I bought, I bought some rock and they threw in a, a piece of that coral and I've been holding on to it for years. Is that Utah That's grape like, agate and whatnot? They're the kind of the geode ones that are hollow and got things in them. Some septarians. Yeah, big pile of those. 
us above it. Yeah. Utah has some really nice septarians. They do. More grape agate. Green and Maury Mountain agates. Uh, I've got some of this. Yeah, I've got it. It almost looks agate. exactly like that. Some beautiful stuff in there. I cut one the other day with blue, yellow, and green. Different, different band like that. that I, haven't, I haven't been able to sell this yellow very very well. I've made a couple cabs of it, and they just sit there. Oh, wow. Look at that. It makes just to rub and grab out of that. Hole. So the Maury Mountain can be pretty badass if you find a good piece. Now, these spiders, they do they cost extra. <laughs> If you want a nice uh, spider. That's people need to come go through that road night. Mm. This looks like cocoa weed right here. That's what it is. I've been there. I've been on that yeah. mountain. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, that's a lot. You harvest it anymore out of the cave, right? No, no, it's all <laughs> on the side of the mountain. You just dig through the rubble. It's just sitting just there. They pulled out. Yeah. yeah, there's tons of it. Wonderstone. Some very, it's always attractive. Never really made any cabs out of it. Looks like a satin polish. Mm. Some rhyolite, Mexican rhyolite. Leopard skin. Yeah. Big wood. wood. The sun was on it. This one's got crystals on it. Do they? This stuff here, a bunch of this is the Park City Silver, silver Summit wood. Really? It's under the Home Depot now. So I've always wanted to little, go there. A little, little tougher to collect. I've heard there's fields in the power lines or they've, something. They've built. You can't even. Built over most yeah. Of it, yeah. That time is gone. But if I you went want some. Five years ago so had a hard time he's, this is a Silver Summit petrified wood from Park City, Utah, which is just up in the mountains, mm -hmm. due east from us. And it's a dead spot. You can't get this material anymore. If you want. Some Silver Summit, you're it's gonna have to go agate. to tie. It's an opal agate combo. And how much are these? Do you uh, have a clue? I mean, it's just it's general. Like 80 bucks that's not bad at all. That's fair. Right. For, a, for a dead location. This almost looks like Levick or something. Is that in New Mexico? Levick is California, Mojave Desert, uh, but I don't, I, I don't know. Paul Bunyan that's kind of mixed in with what we think is a Jubilee Ridge mm, or something. Corporalite. It is corporate. And that rust was added by being in a 55-gallon drum for 18 years. Really? Well, don't worry, it doesn't penetrate any more than... Yeah, I... I <laughs> rocks sitting around. They oh, tend to do know. that, yeah. right? Rocks, they rocks sit around. That's Some the, of them. That's the ironwood that. This is pretty good on here. It's got these are real high tint. Tint wood. Now I've I've heard I've been to some places in the Mojave Desert which are said to have the ironwood, but I've never found any. So very interesting more large wood oh my god look it just keeps going that's all right people love to watch rock videos all right snuck in there looks like it for another fancy knife off full rounds in there there's some henry's wood in there There's a lot of older Constructions Road. There's a little piece of Brazil. Yeah, that's a big piece. <laughs> it's a big one. Well, just more rock than you can shake a stick at. Now, I view my piles of rock as kind of my investment for yeah, when I get old. You know, I just... It sits there, and when I when I want to use it, I can use it. It doesn't. It doesn't rot. Doesn't go bad. Nope. It keeps. 
It'll keep through generations. Right? So, this is, uh, this is the best rock shop in Utah, in my opinion. Um, you know, rock shops cost a lot of money just to exist. And this one, you know, obviously it's private property, so he doesn't necessarily have to pay rent every month to some, some person or corporation. So this is, this is the place. Look at this. Rockhound Ridge, they call it. $25 a bucket. Obsidians. Obsidians. Chrysocolas. Wow. Good wood, $3 a pound. Colorful agate, $3 a pound. So this is uh, one section, another section, and then that's Rock Rockhound Ridge. Yeah, some people were in yesterday. Made a little dent in it. Right? You gotta you gotta make a platform to sit down to dig through this stuff. Oh, he's got he's got a big hose. Wow. Cue the uh, like circus music or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Over there rolling in a probably 25 minutes of video and like nobody was even on screen. Look at these dinosaurs. Now, obviously, Ty is a... And his entire family, I'm going to say, is... Dinosaur centric. I don't know how else to put it. I mean, he likes rocks, but I think he loves dinosaurs. Yeah. Does he go fishing? Well, yeah, <laughs> you think he would, but maybe he collects rocks from a boat. Yeah, if there was a way. All right. Let's see if we can get up in here. So this this pile is uh, twenty five dollars per bucket. And uh, I imagine if you look around, you're going to find. No complaints, huh? Yep. Lots of fossil woods in here. Lots of agates, jaspers, silicates of every sort. Just way more than to even look at. All right. So I'm going to say that that's kind of unsorted, maybe. All this back in here, this big pile is graveyard, but unsorted beyond the pile of uh, graveyard. Have you ever seen so much graveyard point? It's got to be five tons there. That's just a wild guess. I, I have no clue. Oh, well, look at this. $25 a pound. Some kind of a geode. Lots of geodes in there, because once you open them, all the magic gets out. Oh, is it like a computer parts? They just don't buy uh, open geodes. Really? Yeah. They, they want... Cut and polished occasionally. But just open? No. no. They want to open them themselves. Get that chance of finding the diamonds. No, I agree. Um, I, 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 I bought I, open ones because they're interesting, and I've collected enough to go... What's my chance of finding one that interesting? I've done very well with just uh, 
open or cutting them slices and you know regular cabs size and then using the crystal top with the rhyolite bottom to get a nice wonderful cab with crystals on the top and i i done very well yeah. with dugway geodes well, you're, you're so, the right way. so when it comes to you know the open ones have no magic no. they still have they plenty of magic for, you, for me you're, you're doing well because you're using it no, they're looking, they're, they're sure they're going to open it up and there's going to be that sapphire. The one with the emeralds, the one, you know. The one with the diamond. Yeah, yeah, exactly, that's, that's exactly what they are. The little bugs funny going, yeah. mine, 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 mine. Or that might have been Daffy Duck. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Let's go look at that holly blue again. All right, so I'm getting this piece of holly blue for about $25 thereabouts. He gave me a little a little discount. And uh, I'm gonna take this home and see what we can do with it. I'm gonna charge 27 just for one third of this, for one cap. I'm gonna, it's look, worth it. Yeah. It's beautiful stuff. We'll see. We'll see if it, it'll, or I'll sit on it. It'll either sell or, there's, in my book, there's stinkers and clinkers. Clinkers bring money. Stinkers sit on the shelf. So let's hope it's a clinker. All right. So I, I, he's got a lot of display specimens in here. It's all the shiny Selenite. Thing. People really like that. Carved amethyst stuff. Uh, we got some uh, desert roses and fossil ammonites and teeth and uh carved and polished crystals and skulls and stuff like that i mean basically this guy's got it all you know so if you if you need something that maybe you think he doesn't have give him a give him a call give him a message on facebook and i'll put uh, all the links in down below phone numbers included and if you want to contact Ty or Robert and uh, get something or just inquire about something, I'm sure they'd be very happy to, to help you out. Face polishing it. Exactly. A little peanut wood in there. Well, Robert, thank you for your assistance today. You're welcome. Very nice to meet you and come out and peruse the rock piles. Anytime. This is what I look like. I probably haven't been on camera too much, but the helmet on, we'll head on home, and uh, see about getting this stuff on the saw. Thank you, sir.
right, we're gonna wrap up this video by examining these three pieces of jade, supposedly, allegedly Wyoming jade, perhaps even black jade. I don't know black jade from regular jade. So uh, once I cut them open, we'll see what it, you know, what color it is. I don't know, but here we go. Put some water on these. Oh, and I have this little piece of holly blue agate that I bought because I could not resist. A little piece like this run you about $25. But I think I can make my money back on it fairly easily. We'll see. All right. Definitely has some, uh, some green in it. And it's kind of overcast, so I don't know what you'll be able to see, if anything. But it's definitely dark material. I had a customer that uh, directly requested if I had black jade. And Wyoming is one of the places that, that black jade comes from, I guess. And uh, I've always wanted to go into Wyoming and uh, do some rock hounding. So I couldn't resist spending about $100 on these three pieces of Wyoming jade. Uh, alleged Wyoming jade. Now this one actually has kind of a flash, a little bit of flash in there, which is very interesting to me. I, I don't know if that makes it better or worse or something. And this one's a little bit different. Has uh, kind of fibrous pockets or something. I don't know, I'm not sure. If that's going to cut good or maybe be detrimental to uh, cutting and calving. But for a few bucks, you know, it, it might be a pound and a half, might be $15 worth of rock or something like that. Uh, it's nice to try something different, you know. So I've got, I think, three good uh, rocks to cut from and create from. And we will see sometime in the future how they pan out. Oh, and don't forget this little guy. About 400, over $400 a pound for this material. But I mean, you just buy a little piece and it's $25. So try not to focus on how much a pound material costs. I try to focus on whether if I think I can get the money back by creating something. All right, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.